Well, first of all, I, look, you can go back to Reagan. It started then uh, as the Republicans and Democrats started becoming more focused on the party, party politics of who's winning and who's losing and the bipartisan efforts that uh, Reagan was able to get some of it. But s since, since the eighties and the, even with Carter right before him, I've, you know, I've watched it. N no one person is responsible. It's just the, the way the American public views politics you now, and it's the way the parties present their, their brand of politics or their brand of, of um, how to handle issues. If you're not with them, then you're against them. Uh, and they go out and tell everybody either side how horrible uh, these policies are for the country. They're racist. They're, uh, they're hurting the poor people. Uh, they're hurting the rich. They're killing jobs, regulations. Every aspect of, of all functions of government are under uh, or being challenged by, by everybody in America, depending on which side of the street you're on. Uh, gee, George Bush, does ever, uh, have, people have a very sharp memory. Uh, he was a stupid president. He couldn't get anything done. Everything he did was horrible. And the Democrats, uh, I mean, they, they, you know, trashed him every day. Uh, then you had Obama's election and the, the Republicans were basically the same towards Barack Obama. So there's nothing new about Trump except that Trump shocked shocked everybody and the Democrats are, are uh, at, wit, at the wit's end to um, how to how to stop him from doing anything and they do and, and say anything and Trump supporters will do and say anything that the Democrats say. So yeah, there's a divide in this country and, and I don't know how you can blame Trump for it. Everybody. Sure, no, I, I, I'm, I'm not blaming Trump I'm at all. Yeah, the yeah. Viewer. I mean, the, the listeners, uh, they in Louisiana, they're going to say Trump because this is a, you know, uh, Trump did it remarkably well in Louisiana with the votes. I'm saying that the listeners are, are expressing their personal political feelings related to Trump versus Democrats or anyone else. And that's going on across the country. But if the question is, uh, is the president dividing us even further? No, no, no. I actually, let, let, let me rephrase the question. I do apologize. Um, okay, so like the, the the national polls indicate uh, that that the president is, uh, I'm going to say, has a divisive factor of 65 percent. 65 percent of Americans believe the president uh, is dividing. 35 percent, I think, is somewhere around there. Uh, think otherwise. Uh, so. The, the question I have is, um, Louisiana, at least according to the WWL poll, and that's not scientific, obviously, uh, it's 55-45. So my question is, really, if you're a Louisiana politician and you know what's out there nationally, but you also know what's you know, here on radio, etc., cetera, and, and what you're seeing, how do you play into that? If you're a, a conservative, if you're a Democrat, how do you play into that to tap into it? That's really, I guess, the, the oh, question. Okay. Yeah, I, well, I apologize for no. That what you, what you, uh, Steve, what you see is you see uh, Schroeder coming out uh, after making in the runoff and in, uh, in his quest to become the next treasurer of Louisiana. Uh, he's he sounds Trump-like. He's talking about cutting government. He's talking about cutting taxes. We don't need revenue. Um, you, you know, so whatever anyone's running for, they're, 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 uh, not totally, but they're more Trump like because that's Trump got more votes in Louisiana than I think anyone who's ever run for office here. So yeah, you're seeing the Trump effect. Uh, you're seeing, uh, you know, it's a continuation of Louisiana is a very red state, uh, I've spoken about it. I've talked about it on the show, and you and I have discussed it. Uh, the demise of the, you know, I've done, I guess, more and more interviews about it lately. Uh, the, the Literally, the demise of the Democratic Party as it relates to being a major player in Louisiana. You know, the, the Louisiana legislature will probably have very few white uh, Democrats left by the time the uh, polls close uh, these 
uh, what, uh, October, the, the 2019 uh, next set of elections for the legislature. Uh, will we still have a the Democratic governor? Every, everything in Louisiana is Republican, even at the local level. People running for school board are uh, espousing uh, polit political views that have nothing to do with being on the school board. They're just a Republican and they won't everyone know it. And by the way, the voters respond and that's why the Republicans are so dominant in Louisiana. 